Look at this. Look, right there. Watch this. You watching? Ready? There, you see it? Right there. My nether has sprung a leak. I called that plumber, but I got some toad guy who was telling me that he's off in another castle saving a princess or something, and he's too busy to come and help fix my leak. Uh, can't find good help these days. Welcome back to Zeekland. I've had a bit of a think about what I need to do. Now that I've got a whole lot of sand, it's going to take forever to smelt it using the the single furnace that I've got. And I don't really want to use up all the lava in the volcano there. So I had a bit of a discussion with a friend of mine by the name of Coyote, and came to the decision that what I'm going to do is set up a factory in the nether. It was part of the plan all along anyway. As you see here, I have a project table. This is new. This is a red power 2 thing. Basically, I can put whatever I want to make up here, and it'll make as many as I can, so long as I keep clicking from the items down here. Just as a quick example there. Every time I click here, it'll take the wood from here. So I use that to make all of this. I have a whole bunch of redstone engines. I have some geothermal generators, some electric furnace and macerators, and a lot of pipes. I think I'm going to need more cable, so I'm going to bring some copper along as well. Basically, I'm going to bring all of this with me to the nether. I need to offload some stuff, and then I'll see you on the other side. We are back in the nether city dungeon thing. I've made this walls, uh, made the walkways a little safer. I've widened this bit out, and I've chosen this room here to be my factory. It's nice and open, plenty of space. Problem is that it's also quite open up there, so if I get some ghasts flying over, they could cause some serious damage. I've got everything I need in here. Uh, let's see if I just quickly go over it. I've got six furnaces and six macerators, because there were two different tins and two different coppers, and then iron and gold. And once I'm finished with the different tin and copper, then I have two spare macerators for macerating other things. Let's see, I've got 16 engines, because I've got one engine per furnace and one per macerator, and four for the pump. And a bunch of pipes. Hopefully that's enough. But we'll find out. Right, I'd like to have a bit of a chat about the future of Zeke Land. And if you don't already know, this is still running in 1.2.5. And Minecraft is up to 1.4.7 now. Now a lot of the mods I use have updated for 1.4.7. And some of the mods I use have not yet updated past 1.2.5. These mods are Somnia. Now, I can do without that one because that one's just convenience of going to bed during the day and it can pass time when I need to. Uh, but then there is Swords Plus, which takes out a lot of the awesome swords which I haven't had a chance to make yet. And that also goes with Better Than Testificates. I put that one in because it makes vanilla mobs harder. And if I take it out then they're going to go back to their normal difficulty again. So it's a bit of a loss there. And I also lose the Ender Nymphs, the little guys running around everywhere that give me so many Ender Pearls. And that also takes out their ability to hit me with the debuffs, the slow, the mining fatigue, the... I don't know if they can give me blindness, but maybe. Yeah, so that takes a little bit of the difficulty out of the game. I would also lose better dungeons, which means structures such as the nether city that I am in here wouldn't be generated anymore. And Better Dungeons also adds new mobs to the game. I'm pretty sure the goblins and the wasps and the big green silverfish in the volcano come from Better Dungeons. And all of the armoured mobs out in the world. The skeletons and the diamond with the, the diamond armour with their swords and bows. Pretty sure they're all Better Dungeons as well. Now that one's not too much of a loss because Vanilla Minecraft now armours zombies and, they, and skeletons and they can even have enchantments. So that does raise the difficulty there, so that's not too much of a loss, but I do lose all these awesome structures and the mini challenge areas in my game. Now, on the plus side, upgrading my Minecraft to 1.4.7 will actually give me back Mine Factory Reloaded, which is one that I wanted to use from the start, but for whatever reason I haven't been able to get to work with this combination of mods. 
and I'm not too sure why. It doesn't have any errors and it seems to be installed fine, but it doesn't work. If I upgrade, then I can get that to work. Now that's one plus, but there are a few negatives, so I'm still undecided, still trying to make up my mind. Uh, it does also open the door to including other mods. I've been looking at um, some extra biomes mods, either extra biomes XL or there was another one I don't remember the name of, but I don't think I could go with that one anyway. I'm not too sure if adding extra biomes to this world will actually make a difference because this other one I looked at said you needed to start a new world, otherwise the new biomes don't generate. Which would be a bit of a shame because I wouldn't mind having some red rock. Now pretty much the idea of adding extra biomes is simply to add more building options, more decorative blocks and more interesting places to explore. Now, I'm not completely sold on the idea of updating yet. It is definitely still being considered. But I am definitely looking forward to being able to. I do feel that I am missing out on quite a lot of enjoyable things. Here we are, we've got it flowing. Goes right through the building to one of the generators. Now, I'll give that a moment to warm up. Generate some power and we'll see if we can get it uh, macerating some of my stuff. Now I also need to activate the engines here. I'm pretty sure I'll be bringing in some red alloy wire and hooking these all up to a single switch. Because at the moment I just need to give them all individual switches. Yes, it's going. That has power, that's got power. Everything seems to have power. That's great. Alright, so we'll get some of these engines going. Let's just stick it all there. Oops, not that one. Can I get in there? Come on. Now these might be a little more tricky. I can't really put that there. Power them that way. No, that doesn't work. Hmm. Maybe I just need to make more switches. I think that's what I will have to do. And just for consistency, that one can come on the front here. Good, good. I don't know why I made eight. I really only need one. Alright, let's throw that back in there. And grab this. Alright, I'm going to start with the tin and... Well, the tin. Oh, that one's a miserator, so... Oops. Go in there. Now eventually I have an automated system to put all this in as well, similar to what I've got back in the overworld. But hopefully this should be enough for now. Alright, there we go, that macerates that. Go, go, go. Immediately gets pumped out. Good. It should put it here. There it is. That gets smelted into tin which will immediately get put out into the chest. Well, when the engine hits the top it will. Good stuff. Yeah, there we go. Now because that's going in the top, I'm going to have some pipes to deliver things across the top here. And again, have just a, a single chest. So I can put stuff into the chest and it automatically pumps into the, the correct Macerator. Marvellous. And if I ever need to actually make more bronze or brass, then I can macerate these ingots again to get the dust back and mix them that way. And I think brass, I need the ingots anyway. So it all works out in the end. Lovely. Hey, I extended my pipe over to the other side. And now all of this is getting powered as well. That generator is full. 
Now look at this here. This piece of glass. Uh, it occurred to me that I don't actually need a desert. I can macerate cobblestone into sand. And I put that into my machines here. It automatically gets smelted into glass. And yeah, I don't need a desert anymore. Now, I can't show you the contents of this chest at the moment because I went ahead and recorded the intro for the next episode. And yeah, something interesting happened and everything's in here now. But what I can do is this. Hmm. Where did I put my food? Obviously, I didn't bring any. Eh, you didn't see a thing. Editing is such a marvelous thing. Anyway, uh. Also occurred to me that I haven't actually been to the achievement hall in a while, and I don't have an achievement for finding and conquering this place. So I need to grab some stuff, such as some nether brick, and make one. I was just going to grab it from a wall, but I have some in the chest back there, so I might as well use that. Looks like our wolfy stand-in has decided to actually hang around. I haven't had much luck with dogs in this world, so I'm surprised he's here and I almost swung my sword at him, that would have been bad. Anyway, uh, we've got our area hollowed out over there. Now, I don't think I, re I don't remember actually planning it this way, but all the dungeon related achievements are on that side. So obviously this being a better dungeons achievement, it has to go on that side as well. As you see I've hollowed the area out, but I have no way of actually getting over there yet. So what I'm thinking at the moment is this staircase is going to move back two blocks, maybe, two or three. And I'll dig a tunnel across the back there, have a bit of a fancy looking walkway all the way across there and come out on the other side. But for now, we'll just have to stick with some fancy moving. There we go. Just like that. All right. My idea for this one, I don't know how much, I think I only get two, yeah, I need to chop up another one of those. My idea for this one was a little complicated, and let's use some netherrack to start with, and I'm not entirely sure if it's completely safe. So I'll just get this done, because it's a bunch of nether brick buildings. We have these pillars to represent the buildings. There. Now we explode all this out. Awesome. And the streets were made of lava. So I'm going to use these tiny little... what are these called again? Cover strips. Cover strips around the oops, that's in the wrong spot. Around the bottom here. And once I get this in place, you'll see what it's for, but you could probably guess just from looking at my inventory. Here we go. Let's stick a bucket of lava there. Now I'm gonna completely fill this with lava. Yeah, I do actually need that one. Now this is the bit that I'm not convinced is entirely safe because it may set fire to the sign that I'm going to stick out the front. Have I put one there yet? No, I haven't because that's still flowing. There we go. Now these corner pieces. There we go. Now I don't need these torches because I have a leg of lava. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I don't really have a way to put the individual streets between the pillars, so I'll just have to settle for that. Can I put a sign there? I can't. Oh, maybe I have to move the whole thing back one. Hmm. Well, for now, I'm going to put it here. And this is the Nether City dungeon. Found? Conquered? I'm going to say conquered. Now this was episode 
Greetings, I am Neek, Zeke's editor, and totally not Zeke from the last story at all. Anyway, Zeke messed up the script in this next part, and we don't have the time or the budget to re-re-re-re-re-re-record this scene again, 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 again. So, if you would be so kind and help us out by pretending for the next 30 seconds or so that the number 21 is actually the number 26, we would all be very happy and appreciative and not have to create an army of zombies. Ready? Here we go. 21. See, right there, that's it. That's the 21 that is actually at 26. Remember that. 26. Now, on with the show. Now that's going to play havoc with my banners at my outro. I'm going to have to rearrange them a little bit to take this into account. And anyway, I also... Another thing to add to the to-do list is to dig this tunnel out. Let's get down. Whoops. Now, my achievement hall is up to date. I have six stacks of cobblestone that I'm going to take back to the nether to put through the machines. And while I was off grabbing that lava, I also remembered another point. This here, this Ezraelite dust and the Torvalite dust, they're both a part of the Swords Plus mod. So if I upgrade, I'm actually going to completely lose those. So I need to decide if I want to just give them up for gone, or do I want to compensate myself and uh, turn them into redstone or glowstone or gunpowder or something. I don't know, it's something to think on if I decide to upgrade. But for now, I need to head back to the nether and get all of this stone, cobblestone, turned into glass. Please feel free to leave any comments uh, with suggestions for new mods or whether you think I shouldn't upgrade. I'm still pretty 50-50 on the whole thing. Thanks for watching and tune in next time where you get to find out what's in the chest.